G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Today what we're doing is we're installing some rock lights. So rock lights are awesome because when you're full driving at night, which I do enough of to, to warrant this mod, um, pretty much light shines through the suspension onto the ground and you can see rocks and tracks and stuff that you wouldn't see at night time. So um, it's a very basic install, so most of you should be able to do this at home. The kit cost about $200 on eBay. It is the LED rock light high power kit with RGB uh, phone app that you can control on your phone. So you can basically go through all the color options that you would like. You could run hot pink on your blue nav if you wanted to. So what we're gonna do today is hook all this up. I'm gonna hook it to my auxiliary battery, but it would be no different to you installing it into your main car battery. You just have to make sure you put a fuse in line. Uh, so I'm going to explain it as much as I can the whole way and um, yeah, we're going to get this done and it's going to be freaking cool. We've got the kit laid out on the back of the tray here. This is the light itself. It has three little LEDs and that's so it can uh, change to the color that you want to do it. So that's pretty cool. Um, it comes with two little holes here for your screws or bolts or however you're going to mount it up. And also it comes with these rubbers. Now, it took me a little bit to figure out what these do, but it's really cool because if you were going to screw this flat to say the underside of the tray you would have to drill a hole for this wire to run through and uh, normally you want to try and deburr that hole so what they've done here they've cut little slots in this rubber so that you can actually sit this in and it clicks into the rubber and if you guys can see that and you can either have it coming out the back or coming out the side and that'll allow you to mount it flush while not drilling a hole to run your wire because it can come out the side there so that's actually pretty neat and uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna be using those because it's gonna save us a lot of time. And also, so in the kit, you get four of them, you get four of them, you get four larger ones of them as well. And you also get the, the brains of the operation here. So I hope that this thing's waterproof. Um, I'm thinking I might actually mount it inside the canopy so uh, I don't have to worry about it ever, but it just comes with the iOS and Android um, little sticky thing here that you can take a photo of and it'll download the app for you and it comes with the four of these connectors so if you're going to hook this up to your main battery on the car what you'd do is you'd put a fuse in line here and uh, hook it up to your battery and that means that this unit is always on which leaves the app on your phone to control it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this into my canopy which has a fuse block in it so all i have to do is run that to the positive wire and put a fuse in and that to a negative terminal the first step is going to be unravel all these figure out where we're going to mount them underneath the tray and underneath the front wheels and uh see if we've got enough length to mount this box inside the canopy and then we're going to go from there first step unravel these little bastards okay so they're all the same length so we figured that out which means that it doesn't matter which one goes to which tire. So because these cords here aren't long enough, uh, that one only goes to there. So once that's installed up over the wheel arch, uh, it's not gonna run neatly under there and up into the canopy without being too short. So what we're gonna have to do is mount the control box somewhere central underneath. And, uh, the, con and the control box is IP68, which means that it will withstand 1.5 meters of water for up to 30 minutes. I looked that up, so the control box should be all right under there. I don't really like it, but uh, I might just zip tie it up somewhere, save me screwing through the car. So the first step is actually gonna to be to uh, mount these up, which I'm gonna need one of these, one of these. So like I said before, because of that groove, that just slots in like that, moves back, that'll come out the side. Happy with that. And I'm thinking where I'm gonna go is uh, up into the top here. So. I can't see any marks where my tires hit and I can't imagine because this tray has been lifted up that my wheel flex is that high. So what I'm gonna do is probably mount that somewhere like that. And we're gonna screw that up with a torque screw with the self-drilling head on it and neatly run that wire somewhere central. We're gonna do that for all four corners, find a spot for the front, uh, obviously gonna copy the other side to here. That'll give us a central point where we can bring all the wires to and uh, find that control box because you don't want to mount the control box up first and then find out one wire doesn't reach. So that's my train of thought. I'm going to put that into action now. So because we're going into this aluminium mudguard, uh, I'm just going to use some Torx bits. Maybe a little bit. So because we're going, 
So because we're going into this aluminium mud guard, I'm going to use some Torx bits with a self-drilling head on it, so that way we don't have to pre-drill. Uh, that's going to go through. It's going to leave us plenty of room, and these things pull up really tight, which is nice. So the front, we're probably going to have to bolt and put a big washer on it because it's only going through plastic, but because this is aluminium, it's going to go through nice and tight. If you guys have a tub on the back, I have no idea what you can screw into. Just remember that if it is plastic and you try and use something like this, it will, will pull through. If you try and use a little bolt and a little nut that comes with the kit, eventually probably will pull through as well. Stuff pulls through plastic with vibration, so you're going to want to just put a big washer on it if it's thin. If it's something like this, you can use a screw. A bolt's definitely better, but a screw's a lot easier, so... So the next step is going to be finding a good place to mount that control box. Uh, so all these wires have to be neatly ran under the car to a central point and from that central point we can then run wires back to our battery. So I've run all the wires as neatly as I can without going around any sharp uh, edges so it doesn't cut through the wire. So that one and the one on the other side are pretty much identical. And come for a ride, we'll go under here. On the underneath of the car, we have the wire coming in here, the other one on the other side, coming through, attached to this line here. Zip tied right up over the drive shaft here, you don't want to get anything hanging near this drive shaft. Over to the rest of them. So this is basically going to be our main hub. Then we've got one wire, which was the hardest, coming up over here, and I'd say it's the hardest because you've got to cross the exhaust. So I've tried to pick a uh, nice safe spot. I can't come down any further because the wire is just not long enough, and I've just wrapped it in some of this spiral wrap stuff. So uh, I'm hoping that's going to be good enough. That comes up over the gearbox and goes into there, and the other side just follows these uh, lines here. That is about as neat as I can get it. So she's mounted up there, everything's zip tied up, it's all should be watertight. So now all I've got to do is run this power wire back to the canopy and uh, try and run it nice and neatly. I wonder if I can sneak down the side of that fuel tank. And uh, yeah, and then we'll, all we've got to do is hook it up to the battery and we should be able to test it. Okay guys, so what I've done is I've just pulled this uh, switch panel that I made off. And uh, I actually decided, just eyeballed the line down here, and uh, I just decided straight up under there, I just shoved the drill bit straight up the bum of it. And uh, this is the wire here for it. So pulled that up through there. Uh, and now all I need to do is bring it into one of these. Pretty hard to explain, but it's very simple. We just got 12 volt in here because my battery is connected to this fuse block. So on your normal car, you would basically just run that positive wire to your battery, positive, and the black wire to the negative on your battery. Um, and you'd buy a little inline fuse that you would put in, you would solder it in or butt connect it in, stick your fuse in it and you're away. But because I have this dual battery, uh, I wanna run everything sort of auxiliary off this battery so I don't potentially flatten that one. And uh, what I, so all I need to do is, yeah, run the wire to this to get the 12 volt and the earth wire to the earth block that I have back here, so.
All right, guys, so I got that all screwed up. It's all nice and secure now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly tidy up all my mess. Uh, I got some zip ties and all that down on the ground. And then I'm going to scan that barcode app. Uh, we're going to load it up, put a fuse in, and uh, fingers crossed. So I've just scanned the barcode down on the uh, device there. So if we hit get, that's going to quickly download and install. So while we're waiting for that to download, I am going to pop this off, push in, nice and easy like that. Time for the test, I'm super excited. I've chosen my favorite color, which you guys might not agree with, but I think it looks freaking sick. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking I might turn that off. It might be a little hard for you guys to see, because obviously at night, I mean the GoPro doesn't pick much up, but obviously at night it's not as dark as it would be in here. So what we're gonna do is turn that off. We've got nothing. Go onto our phone here, hit the power button up the top, and voila. Oh, that's so cool. That's literally so sick. Look at that. Oh, it's hard for you guys to see. But look at that color. Oh, sick. It's gonna look so cool at night. It is so sick. Oh, I'm stoked. I am stoked. All right, guys, so that's it. Um, obviously, being the time of day that it is like around three o'clock in the afternoon, uh, these things aren't very bright, and even with the workshop down, I don't think you can see much. It's really hard to tell on the little screen on the back of the GoPro, but it looks sick. It honestly looks so cool. I'm so stoked with it. The colors are amazing. You can make any color you want, so I'm happy with that. The phone app works good. You can actually play them to music. I haven't figured that out yet, but um, you can play music, and it'll sort of go to the beat of the music. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Hopefully this is uh, gonna help someone out installing their rock lights. I think they're a really cool and simple mod. Um, I've also been thinking about getting some stickers made up uh, that'll just say Roam Life and a, and a window banner and a small one. So uh, let me know if you want one of them, they'll be really cheap. I'm not planning to make money off them or anything like that. I just want people to sort of have a nice window banner. We can come up with some pretty cool designs, but anyway, that's enough of me talking. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it and I'll catch you next time.